Hey YouTubers, Holiday Cheer one here. I'm going to be doing a new video today. Um, this is actually not a new video. This is part two of um, braces video. So I know you guys have been um, probably waiting for that. And I have to film on my computer only because this is my camera. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like. It's a Sony Cybershot. Okay, oh, you guys can see how I'm filming on my computer. Look what happened to the memory stick. This is a memory stick. And can you guys see the chip on the side right there? If you can, see that? That's what it looks like. It's missing right up there, and that's why it's not working. Um, so now I have to film on my computer, and I found out I have 15 minutes and 30 seconds, and I'm so excited. That beats 10 minutes. I'm so happy. So I'm going to kind of hurry. Um, I'm going to show you outfit of the day, hair, and briefly makeup. Okay, so first off... I am wearing, moving my chair over. All right, so first off, I'm just wearing a purple long sleeve, nothing fancy. Well, okay, it's got a little bit of detail up here, and then it's got some back there, okay? Um, and then I've got, I don't know what you call this, okay? I'm just going to call it whatever. I believe I can fly. Okay, that was really strange. I don't know why I just did that. All right, so it looks like that. It's just kind of roughly... And then it looks like this in the back. And then necklace, jewelry-wise. I don't wear too much jewelry. It's just a heart and necklace. Not big on earrings. And then for pants, I am just wearing my regular jeans. And they look like this. Nothing skinny, nothing fancy on the bottom. Alright. And then hair of the day is... I've been having kind of a bad hair day. Or not knowing what to do with my hair, which happens all the time. So it just looks like this. And then it's... um. Top knot bun, high bun, and then my bangs are like this, and then just little loose like baby hairs and stuff like that. So that's my hair, and then makeup. Um, just I went a little bit dark on my eyes today, and just blush, pretty simple. I look like, and then lips. I have it's called Lancome Juicy Tubes. Looks like that. My computer doesn't focus. Alright, so let's get into the video. Um, I left off on number 11, so let's get into number 11. Alright, first, yeah, number 11. Um, did you have to have jaw surgery? No, I didn't, but I was really close to having... Why do I keep looking up? I'm trying to look at you guys, but I keep looking at myself. No, look up. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, I didn't have to have jaw surgery, but, I totally lost my thought, um, but I was almost close to, because I had, like, a bad overbite, and where teeth weren't supposed to be, you know, going over top of each other, and all that complicated jazz, and, um, so yeah, they were like, you know, if you didn't come in in time and get this all taken care of, you would have had surgery, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm so happy I came in here in time, so to that question, no. Number 12, what kind of toothbrush do you use with erases or appliances? I showed you guys my video, um, braces part one. Maybe it's over that way, or maybe it's over that way. But check out braces tag video part one to see my toothbrush and stuff. Um, I'm not going to show it to you guys again. Just, you should be using, like, um, orthodont, um, when you go to the orthodontist, they'll give you like a little goodie bag and stuff, and it'll have toothbrush in there and all type of stuff. So use the toothbrush that they give you, of course. Um, number 13, do you use wax? This is wax. It comes in these things. All right, they're very teeny tiny. Now, last video, I tried to record this, and I couldn't get it open fast enough. Again, this is probably going to happen to me in this video. One second, you guys. I can't open this. Like, what the heck? Ah, got it. Alright, so it looks like this. Alright, how cute is that? Alright, and then when I take it out, all you need to do, and they'll explain all this and how to use wax. What you do and use wax is if you have anything that's hurting you, poking you, or you take wax like this, little piece or however big you need, and then you just stick it inside your mouth like it just pretty much sticks. You have to kind of work with it, be patient with it. 
Um, so yeah, that's how you use it. Just stick it there and give it some time and it'll just help to, that was really weird. I don't know why I just did that. Um, it'll help ease the pain or pokiness a bit. All right, next question. Um, number 15, what appliances do you have? I used to have an expander on the top of the roof, on the top of my mouth, roof of my mouth. Yeah. Um, so yeah, go watch the braces part one to see that. I talked about the expander, I showed what it is, and um, all that jazz. So watch that one for my expander, and that was pretty much all the appliances I have. I don't know if you call a spacer an appliance, but I don't know. Number 16, do you ever get that? Um, oh my gosh, I totally skipped number 14. How long did your braces take? Um, getting them put on. It took about an, that was in last December, so I don't really remember, but it took like an hour, hour and a half. If you have to go to school or somewhere like important, I would say maximum two hours, but you're, you're going to be like freaking out like two hours? What? No, that's crazy. No, it's probably not going to be two hours, but they will tell you previous appointment, um, how long it'll take. So, yeah, or if they don't tell you, just ask them, hey, how long is it going to take, but they normally do tell you. Um, so, yeah, I think mine was like an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, next question, do you ever get that metal taste in your mouth? I don't know what they're talking about with the metal taste in my mouth. I guess I've never had it or just, I don't know. But I do get um, the glue. You guys need to watch out for the glue because it tastes really nasty. Like, they have to put the glue, of course, on your teeth when they put your braces in. And then if they had to add any extra braces on your teeth. Like, I had to have, um, uh, when I went to my previous, when I just went to my appointment last Tuesday. Um, I'm not in the center, aren't I? Let me fix my chair one second. Alright, there we go. When I went to my appointment this past Tuesday, they had to add um, two new braces or whatever they call them on the back molar teeth, and they had to put glue and do a little easy process. Guys, the glue the glue tastes really nasty. I'm just I want to say it. It doesn't taste like minty or orange, or they don't have like fancy like taste flavors and stuff. So, uh, yeah, it just it just tastes awful. That's all I can say is it just tastes awful. So, um, the taste in my, the glue taste usually lasts for like, I'd say a couple days. Because yesterday, I, when I was eating and stuff, I could still feel like the glueiness. And, um, but yeah, it's just, it's icky. Uh, next question, last question, 17, what color bands do you get? I have purple. I'll show you guys. I don't know. That was pretty bad. Big eyes. Um, I have purple bands, and um, I usually get. I'm sorry. That was my clock. Are you done now? Thank you. All right. That was my clock going off. Um, so yeah, I get purple bands. I get blue bands. They they'll give you a bunch of colors you can choose from. Do not get clear. Oh my gosh, clear does not look pretty at all. It just looks like you got a bunch of stuff in your teeth. Um, Alright, so that was all the questions, and now I'm just going to be talking to you guys about it, little like tips and information and stuff. Flossing, this is what a flosser, this is like a special thing to floss with your teeth when you have braces. Obviously, because if you guys don't have braces, this is not what it looks like. I hear floss thingy. And of course, it's still in the plastic because I am very bad about not flossing my teeth. But it should be very important to floss your teeth and really take care of it. Um, and it'll, it'll probably all help in the long run. So, that would be the flossing. And then, um, I just have a piece of paper here. I'm going to read off some extra information that they give you. It's just paper like this. And they'll give you, like, what to eat, what not to eat, stuff like that. Um, before I get into the paper, I have this thing. Alright, it looks like this. You take it out. Pulls out. This thing, you don't need it. It's just, it's what keeps it clean. And then it looks like this. And what it is, is you just go around and you're, oh look, huh, that'd be cool. Um, it helps to get all the extra food that you can't reach in your braces that are stuck in there. That sounds gross, but 
it's braces what can you say so um, that's what this is used for and then you just clean it off and then stick it back in here and it should be clean so it's easy to fit like if you're a girl it's easy to fit in like your purse or stuff like that pocket so that would be that then I'm just gonna read some stuff out of this paper and it's just called caring for your braces um, same discomfort should be expected for the first few days after placing the appliances and following certain adjustments. If necessary, you know, they prescribe Advil or Tylenol. Cold foods like ice cream and popsicles. And you should chew on the Exorbite for at least 10 minutes immediately after appliance or placement adjustment. Looks like this. This is an Exorbite and you put it in your mouth. That's all it looks like. And um, you just kind of, it's okay baby's teeth on a teething ring because like their teeth hurt and this is what it is it's like well it's not a teething ring but it just helps and it's flimsy like that so you can just suck on that and stuff like that and it really it's kind of fun to suck on you know or chew on or gnaw on or whatever you want to do with it then um you really should not chew sugar free no sugar or sticky gum um Sorry about that. I don't know why I just paused there. Um, so yeah, don't chew sugary gum. Only chew, only chew sugar-free gum, because um, all that sugar was really bad for your teeth. So um, and then they say to avoid anything sticky, chewy, or hard. But I still eat apples and caramel. Like that's just. And then constant breakage will extend your treatment time. Like if braces break, this is all the foods you. They say you cannot eat, but it's okay. Um, alright, and then in case of any, like, breakages or loose bands, please save all parts and please call our office for an appointment. Uh, good oral hygiene is more important now than ever. Braces create extra surfaces and makes cleaning more difficult. For best results, it is essential that you follow the brushing technique that has been demonstrated to you by your technician. We recommend that you use regular toothpaste. Please not use whitening or tartar. Did I just say that really funny? Tartar? Tartar control. It is important that you visit your dentist for your regular checkups. And then, so that's what that paper looks like. So I think I've gone over everything for you guys. And I'm sorry, this is really crummy lighting. Um, it's dark outside and I'm using the main computer. So I'm going to look really white or pale, but I promise you guys I'm not that, that pale. So that was my braces part two tag. And I also wanted to say thank you for guys, thank you guys for like all your or um, the views on this. Um, I uploaded it um, the other day and then the next day I had 116 views. Like I'm not even kidding. And I know that sounds like, oh my gosh, that's not a lot. But for being new on YouTube and only getting like a few on my other videos, um, it was like really nice. So thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe on whichever side this is going to face. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to go and uh, oh, before I do go, I've got two minutes left. I just want to say your jaw is probably going to be hurting. That's normal because your teeth are just straightening up and like um, being fixed and stuff inside your mouth. So it's normal for your jaw to hurt and your tongue like gets major exercise, like getting the food and stuff out of your braces. I know that sounds really strange. But um, so yeah, if you have any questions, I have been getting a few questions and stuff. Um, so if you have any more questions, concerns, anything like that, comment below or leave me a message. Um, so yeah, this was my video, and uh, have a great day. Talk to you guys later.